Capitec proudly sponsors this program. Rethink Credit. Realize dreams. Capitec. To win a home right here, live and direct on SABC3. I'm Tavi Somakubela. Indeed, my name is Daniel Arcrisso. So excited to be with you every Thursday evening, live on SABC3. Lots of prizes to give away. Yeah. Some of the best in South African design. Are you well? I'm well. I'm well. I'm rocking and ready to give away some awesome things. You're wearing some uh, very cool uh, mustardy pants over that side. <laughs> almost as loud as the design of our design duos. Well, let's see what the show has in store for us. Indeed, tonight's <laughs> show is going to be cooking, and I'll tell you why. Our design duos are working towards completing their kitchen spaces and remember that this is the show where you stand a chance to win a brand new fully decorated apartment at part of a lifestyle estate in Somerset West developed by Baldwin properties worth over three million rand by simply voting for your favorite duo on privateproperty.co.za in fact if you win there's more obviously you get to choose which of these three penthouse apartments you want how amazing is that? That is totes amazing. And if you enter before 7.45 tonight, you'll be eligible for our weekly Capitec Open the Door giveaway where you stand a chance to win one of these prizes. Tonight on Capitec Open the Door, you could win a Bamex Swiss Line blender with slicey attachment from Caesarstone worth 9,000 Rand, a 5,000 Rand Valence voucher, or a mere showerhead from flush bathrooms worth 3,600 Rand. And on top of all of that, tonight you have a second chance to win with Samsung. Answer a simple product related question, and you could be the owner of a Samsung 12 kilogram front loader washing machine with Wi Fi, Ad Wash, Eco Bubble technology, and smart control worth 15,000 Rand. I'm pretty sure your mm. pants would fit in there and <laughs> they'd come out glowing. That would. that would be absolutely amazing. But what a menu we have in store for you tonight. But before we get back to it, here's a quick recap of what happened. Last time on Winner Home, the design duos got cooking on their kitchen spaces. Their mentor and guest judge for the challenge was revealed to be one of the most highly respected names in South African interior design, Mark Riley. Team Contrast Control had quite an ambitious plan for their key collaboration. Quite a big piece. It's like 1.5 by 1.5. Wow, that's a lot of steel. Eh? Team r &K turned their design on its head with a unique lighting solution. We're gonna need um, a drill, you know? <laughs> Put some holes in there. <laughs> and the perma peeps took their handcrafting skills to the next level. You must definitely like check our work so we don't have like <laughs> funky stitches in between your lovely stitches here. With little more than a shell to show at the halfway mark, it's crunch time for the duos as they work to complete one of the most technical spaces in the home. Things are cooking here on site as our design duos rush to complete the kitchen challenge. It's deadline day. Are you ready for some design drama? It's the day of hustle. Yeah, it is the day of hustle. We need to hustle very hard. A whole lot of everything needs yeah. to still happen. Cabinets need to still go in. Okay. We're only sort of halfway with all of that. Cleaning, styling, <laughs> fluffing, planting, just everything really. <laughs> One day left and um, our tiling still has to be done. Our cupboards still need to be fitted and our shelves also need to be fitted. No appliances at all. <laughs> There's nothing there really. Yeah. So Flush hooked us up with our standway in the kitchen. We went for a brass finish on those taps just to complement the different finishes that we have in our kitchen. We've just discovered that the nipple's a bit short on the bottom of the tap mixer, so we might have to do a modification there to make that work. We need a bigger nipple because we added this island. I mean, everything is custom in our cold kitchen. Like, we handmade most of the things there. Mm. So, I mean, yo, so many complications. What will be going like that? Over there. How sexy. How delicious. Right? I know. And then, of course, there's a bulkhead. I mean, which is the main feature of this kitchen. Yeah. It still needs to be, like, installed. I mean, currently they've started, but, like, I'm not seeing it yet. Things are all over the place. Well, this is our first beam of 11, which we're just gonna like, you know, place here. 
We decided to take our Caesar Stone splash back straight across the kitchen because of our built-in plant and herb wall feature. Yeah. <laughs> it Seeing that Caesar Stone go in, so amazing. And those plants popping through, it looks like they're literally growing out of the stone. Oh, it's gorgeous. So this is gonna be our splash back in the kitchen. Initially we wanted to do brass and then we kind of worked out that that wasn't gonna be possible. So we went with the mild steel, but uh, it comes with a very clean, like clinical finish and we wanted that a bit textured up. So we got a mist bottle and we sprayed vinegar on and what that does is we left it overnight and that oxidizes the, it almost speeds up the rust process. So basically what we're doing is just taking off this excess dusty top layer of rust um, so that we can properly seal it. And when we were doing that, we didn't know if it was gonna remove the finish completely, the texture that we just created, or if it was gonna come out with something awesome. And I think we've got a little trick up our sleeve. It's a little exciting texture we've created. The stone cladding, it needs to go. You know, in design, sometimes you need to make changes. Something about it just says outdoor. But then looking at it now with the coastal grey, which is our choice of our finish for Caesar Stone, there's just too much music. You need some calm elements. What's better than a black tile? So we thought, take the tile from the floor, cut it in half, and implement it around as a strip as opposed to that, because it's just, just it was just too much drama. Remember who we're designing for? She's chic, she's sophisticated, she's edgy. I don't know about rocks just above her spinach. <laughs> Oh yeah. Our collab piece is here from Ashley Lloyd Design Studio. I'm glad we went with the olive. Yeah, it's very cool. We've actually gone with more of a woven feel because it also ties it with our other woven elements from all the other rooms. So yeah, no, we are so excited to see the installation of this and see it finally hanging. We want to just see the globe peek out. We don't want to actually see the globe. Our pendants arrive. Oh my goodness. Those babies look so beautiful. Right? Gold. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Gold one. But heavy. Mm, look at heavy. heavy. They just look heavy. They, and I mean, of course, the concern is the fact that they could fall. I mean, they are gorgeous, though. They are. They're so worth the risk. Contrast control. Whoa. going here? Is this exactly where it needs to be at this particular point? Yeah, yeah, very much so. Good to see Danilo making himself at home in our kitchen. That's so dope! I really think it's a kitchen that would suit someone with a lifestyle like his. We'll get cleaning, get like this thing done and dusted. I want to see a final product when I walk in here. Listen for my buzzer. All right? We'll try. Good Your luck. My favorite horn. My favorite horn. I'm excited for this one. So Dan comes in, <laughs> as usual, in the midnight hour. Hi. Hi. Guys. Danilo. Like, I kind of like some of the stone that's on the side, but um, we have a couple of hours left, and you are still got pieces everywhere. You know how it goes, Danilo. Hours in design. Could be a couple of minutes, we just need to get a few things done. What, a few things? Guys, there's no cupboards on the doors, there's no, like, this stuff hasn't been cleaned this side, those have been installed, there's still cardboard along this side. And there's nothing to show him. We just want him out before he gets a whole pendant on his head. We don't want that accident. No, no, we don't. <laughs> but rather his head than our sister's still. Get this kitchen complete, guys. All right. Thanks, Woo! Ciao, ciao. Bye. <laughs> Our duo's kitchens would be incomplete without a beautiful surface. And on this season of Winter Home, the Caesar Stone's been fabricated right here in the Western Cape. Magma Services has been going for seven years now. I've been personally in the industry for 23 years. We are a processing company, and what that means is we supply, cut, polish, and install Caesar Stone tops because we are credited at Caesar Stone Installer to your home, office, bar, Applications like kitchens, bathrooms, vanities, wall claddings, all those kind of finishes that you require for your home. So any job, whether it's just a small vanity or whether it's a large development, we handle all those installations. 
when we receive the slabs, we cut that up with a water cutter into different sizes according to what you require in your kitchen. The blade spins at about 2,400 revolutions a minute. It is a diamond blade which then cuts the slab into formats of what we require for your house. From there it'll go to a shaping section. We shape the stone with what edge you want on the stones itself and then gets dry polished. From there it goes to the wet polish stations and those wet polish stations go through a system of five different polish grades which will then give you your finished product which would be polished on all the exposed edges we require for your kitchen. So once it's finished polishing we check it, we dry it, check the quality of the polishing and then it's off to site and installed in your house. Mm, busy, 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 busy over here, busy over there, busy everywhere. Well, our clock is ticking, and the clock is ticking for you because if you want to be eligible for this week's Capitech Open the Door giveaway, it closes at 7.45 p.m. tonight. So go on privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design duo. Coming up, it's a pressure cooker, and uh, these guys are trying to put their final touches. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Welcome back to Winner Home, hosted at the beautiful Part of Bay Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. It's the final moments of the kitchen challenge, and up until this point, things seem to be running smoothly. But on Winner Home, things change. We're very happy with where we're at at this stage. Mm. Should nothing go wrong, let's not jinx things, but... Uh... Fingers crossed. Watch it, watch it! <laughs> Woo what a life, what a life. Yeah, that moment like when your heart drops and there's kind of nothing you can do about it. I and mean, we kind of felt like it was just the end for us. And I'm like coming in with like fruits, oh la di da. <laughs> the last touch of food. It's like an absolute miracle that nothing broke. Um, the timber slab doesn't have a scratch on it. The cabinet is still intact, like that whole thing's still solid. Pots. Luckily we went crazy with the amount of pots we bought. I think three pots broke in total. A couple of the trays broke the fall of the bigger pots, but like the plants and the pots and everything's still there. Everything's still good. Like 
we can just get it up again, we're fine. We're like in a crisis management moment right now. Just need to sweep everything up, clear it out, and bring it back, because the actual mechanism does work. Yeah. We only have a couple of hours left, and we'll still have to do shopping. And also get this place cleaned up. Of course, and also it has to smell fresh. Oh, definitely. Thank you, thank you so much. We just put these up in the area. Of course. Oh wait, don't don't start it yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're gonna be out for a while, and we don't want it smelling and stuff when we get back. That's true. I mean, we have to get these things smelling really clean and fresh for the judges when they arrive. There's so much to do. Perma peeps. Sorry to bring you some bad news. Hello, hello. Hey. But we're running out of time. How's it going in here? Yeah. It's going. Danilo pops in, as per usual, while we're in the middle of doing stuff. <laughs> he wants to have a conversation. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys can come up with. There's only a few hours left, all right? So please phone your suppliers, get everything done and dusted, because this place is going to look incredible when it's done. And I want people to see it in its full glory, all right? Awesome. Deep breath in. <laughs> and I'll get back to work. Bye. <laughs> Okay, don't forget to start the laundry. Oh, yes. Um, let's see. It's too fast. Okay, it started. We've got about an hour. Okay, let's go. That was so cool. I mean, I mean could you believe that you could literally, from your car, wherever you are, turn oh. your machines on? <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite moment in the challenge where I get to toot my own horn. It's deadline time for the kitchen challenge of Winner Home Season 5. Will their kitchen designs be ugh, delicious? Or will they leave a bad taste in the judges' mouths? It's time for our contestants to put down their utensils. The horn goes off. Spoons, forks, and pots, baby. On the floor. Yeah, I mean, we've done it. You think we'd be a little more used to that horn? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stations. I can't believe we managed to just like wrap up everything clean, put that whole structure up. My word. They always leave us with so much anxiety at that deadline time, but boy, oh boy, do I enjoy that horn moment. Right in the nick of time, and uh, you are out of time to enter for tonight's Open the Door giveaway, but you can now enter for next week's draw on privateproperty.co.za. After a close call leading up to deadline with that hanging garden structure, Team Contrast Control definitely took it down to the wire, quite literally. But in the end, what they produced was truly spectacular. Contrast Control. Danilo. Yo. Hey? I'm doing so good, guys. It's nice to see you, and this kitchen is looking awesome. It's literally my favorite space in the whole home. It's a space where I come to cook. I love food. I don't know if you guys are big kitchen fans, or... I'm a kitchen fan. I usually have the time, but I haven't had much time to spend in the kitchen. And I think you never knew kind of like what it takes to put these things together, all the nooks and crannies and bits and bobs, technicalities, etc. But it's done. Talk me through the details. Kitchens are always a, always a lot, always a mission. But uh, yeah, we're quite happy with what we've got going here. These were some old pieces of timber that I collected in Woodstock a while back, and I've been wanting to do something with them, so I'm really stoked we could put this into this. And it turns out it's, it's nice South African grown ash and oak. And this will be a nice interactive kitchen space mm. now. Yeah. And we can't forget the most important piece of this kitchen, our suspended steel. Yes. The plants. And it looks pretty cool. I, I, are you guys happy with that result? Super so stoked. happy. It just works functionally because you can always bring down your plants and you can cook with your coriander, chop and it I mean, up. As someone who likes a kitchen, you must always love having fresh herbs on hand. So. Totally, totally, totally. I love this concept. And you guys always bring some great surprises. I think that's one of the big things we've loved about Contrast Control. This is one of them. Are there other surprises that the judges will find in here? Definitely, like this cabinet here, kind of we used it to contrast all the modern kind of feel that we have in the kitchen. We had budget for artwork and this is our art piece. We added a mirror behind it. It kind of makes the space look way bigger than it is. And it's a point of reflection also. You can check that. Oh wow, I can check myself out. <laughs> Looking good. 
that, cool. that, that interacts nicely with the lounge space. Another small detail was getting this basin to float. It kind of creates this area that kind of just out where you can kind of help out in the kitchen and not be crowding up the space. Love it. Ross plated splashback behind there. Oh. We took on another little DIY at this time and we, yeah, we wanted to oxidize the the steel to make it like seem rusted. It looks so dope, guys. I love that. And also, it seems to me like there's a mixture of old and new school in here. The black, the white, with obviously your black handles and your white cupboards. And oh, that's pretty cool. It's a bin. Is that a bin? It's a bin. All right. I, I, I'm very impressed. I think the judges will like what they see here. It's the second last challenge. So hopefully, this will be the one that can kind of get you that extra budget for the final challenge. So good luck to both of you. Thank you. Before I leave, can I test it out? Yes, please. Yeah, let's have a look. Cool. Pop that guy off. Catch us off. That's so dope. Look at it. Good luck to both of you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yes! Talk about a duo rising to the occasion. One kitchen reveal down, two to come after the break. Don't go anywhere. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitech. Start your laundry cycle remotely when you're not at home and add in forgotten clothing at any time using the Samsung AdWash washing Welcome back to Winner Home at Part of Play Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties, nestled in the beautiful Somerset West. Team Contrast Control brought some real flavor to their kitchen design. Let's see what the other duos have dished up. Team R and K. Hey. I just want to make something here. I want to serve something here. Yeah, mine. Do it all. This bulkhead is insane. <laughs> Everything's right. come together so nicely. Oh, thank, thank, thank you, you so thank much. You, thank, you. thank you. So the bulkhead was inspired by height. We wanted to create something that acknowledges the fact that this is quite a high ceiling. Yeah. And we chose to go with that finish because we are very earthy, mm. industrial, and matte. <laughs> yeah, it complements our monochromatic um, color palette that yeah. we found for in here. And yeah. See, our Caesar stone as well, very we love beautiful. Caesar stone. Movement as well. And you know, yes, we always use movement. Coastal grey reminds yeah. us of vanilla noir a bit. You haven't mentioned it yet, but something that I noticed was the African sort of aesthetic in here. You obviously got these new lights that you put up. Yeah. They look amazing. You've got your artwork sitting there. Lots of dark, warm colours. I feel like with the wooden top, it feels like I'm on like a sort of game farm. If you'd imagine that kind of feel in the space. <laughs> No. Mm. Okay. No. If it if it all glam farm. Glam farm. Is that fine? Yeah. Elegant farm. Yeah. Absolutely high end. Yeah, five star. Yes, definitely. five star. I'm yeah. That. No, so no. obviously you designed for your client. Which elements in here have been for them? Our payments. Because she's well travelled, and we are in Africa, so she wanted to bring a bit of her travel into the space, yeah. and that's why we went for with these lights. So we've cleared the aesthetic, it's beautiful. Now let's talk about the other side of a kitchen, right? Which is functionality. Absolutely. I mean, here we are, right here about this beautiful island. And I mean, when you look at this, don't you think chop chop? 
all your veggies are here, you're doing the most. Preparing, and of yeah. course, what I love about this island is that it's it's got a duality sort of element to it where you can also dine on it. Yeah. And th that's why we created the wooden height element there. And you like to put on a show, so even chopping has to have an audience. Oh, come, come on. on. <laughs> you know me too well. Yeah. Hey, hey. More like checking out the tile, Danilo. How can you miss that beautiful you know, the black extension. tile? It, it, it creates an illusion of space. I see. The tile yeah. continues over, you see through the reflection of yeah. this mirror. And of yeah. course, shoe cam. Have you seen Wendy Williams? <laughs> Heavens. Well, you guys have done an exceptional job in this space. Yeah. yeah. What about all the advice the judges have given you? What about this particular aesthetic is going to get you the win? It's oh. solid. When I step into this kitchen, the words that come into my mind are solid, function, sophistication. Yeah. I mean, it's great. It's seldom that you get all those words in one sentence, yeah, but in yeah. this kitchen, yes. it's, it's justified. Hit the nail right on the head. This one. <laughs> well, right. <laughs> well, you guys are pretty confident. Hope you guys are too have been voting on private property. Good luck to both of you. The judges will be arriving shortly. Oh. Thank you so Thank much. You. Oh my goodness, guys. Hey. I'm like, oh, you guys hugs. This is amazing. Thank right? You so much, guys. I would ask you how your hearts are feeling, but I mean hearts in terms of the heart of the home, your kitchen. Yeah. We are in love with our kitchen. I wish it was our home. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you guys are voting for yourselves online. Of course. Of course. <laughs> right, so I see lots of seating space, which is really exciting. I see that stone color coming through. You've got your natural elements brought in here as well. Talk me through the vision that's come to life. Our permaculture vision, we feel, has come to life really strongly. Behind your butt is actually our Bakashi bin. Oh, cool. Can I try it out? Can I check it out? Ta da! It's right underneath the sink here, which is awesome. Yeah, and on the side, just your little general waste for just the things that you can't put in the Bakashi yeah. bin. Herb gardens coming along amazingly. Yeah. Oh, it, looks it came together so nicely. We love this so much. It's our favorite feature. So, like, the whole point of the kitchen is meant to be part function, part beautiful design. It's, you know, part of the entertainment area of this particular apartment itself. And um, what are the elements here that you've made that are really functional, going to add value to the property? Oh, our functional elements, we've incorporated quite a lot of storage, Which as you cool, can see. Yeah. We've gone quite high up with our cabinets. <gasps> if you've got the heights to work with, you know, you might as well... <laughs> Why are you not freaking out about this thing? I know, it is we love just... it. I'm telling you, yeah. these, these mechanisms that have no. been put in by Cozy Home, we're so grateful. Yeah. Like, our kitchen is just amazing. Yeah, especially when you're mentioning this height, you've got a lot of space to play with. You don't want to waste any of it. This allows you to be able to do that. That's mm. really stunning. And we've kept yeah. the space nice and open because we hate that feeling when you've got more than one person in a kitchen yeah. suddenly and you're like... like yeah. <laughs> and like, rolling around each other and like bum butting and... So we just thought, you know what, get the storage up and high, keep yeah. the space open. You've still got ample Free seating flow. to entertain. Yeah. And also, yeah. I mean, in true perma peep fashion, we have plants in the base latte. So you're playing footsie footsie <laughs> with plants. It's like, who's that? It's oh, wait. That? It's a succulent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just really proud of you guys. It's come together really nicely. The judges are going to love this, I hope, and give you guys some really good positive feedback. We really feedback. hope so, yeah. too. We hope so we're so super too. proud. Cool. Perma peeps. <laughs> On to the next challenge. Don't let your energy levels die. This is incredible. We are pushing. We're definitely pushing hard. We're, We're good. good. We're good. Yeah. We're all and good. fans of the Perma Peeps, don't forget to use the hashtag Win a Home, all right? Get voting for them on private property. I love watching all your tweets come through. Hashtag Win a Home as you guys are sharing some of your real positive support for our duos as well as a little bit of spice. Did you see that spice all on Twitter? All the spice flowing right through. The streets of Twitter <laughs> are insane. You guys have got no shame. I love it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really super impressed by all of these kitchens. They look amazing. And I think that the judges have their work cut out for them in this particular challenge, especially when it comes to deciding which duo has dished up a winning design. Remember, if you uh, want to enter, you can on privateproperty.co.za. And if you are our grand prize winner, you'll have the same dilemma, which apartment to choose as your very own. And thank you to all the viewers who have been interacting with us on social media. And yeah. if you want to do the same with the three design duos, we're putting their Twitter handles on screen right now. You can tell them what you think of their finished kitchens, their apartments in general, or just wish them luck for the impending uh, judgment that's yeah. coming through. But uh, remember to add the hashtag winner home. So follow them on Twitter and see what these talented people are up to. After the break, the judges arrive. Woo! Start your laundry cycle remotely when you're not at home and add in forgotten clothing at any time using the Samsung AdWash washing machine. Live a seamlessly connected life with the Samsung SmartThings app.
Welcome back to Winner Home right here on SABC3. We're coming to you live and direct tonight. Now, when I was on presenter search, there was nothing more stressful than when the judges arrived. And I'm sure our design duos feel exactly the same. Design contestants, welcome and congratulations on completing your kitchens. This was by far the toughest challenge on Winner Home season five, but your results are spectacular. All that's left is for our judges to come and view each of your kitchens and decide who cooked up the winning dish. They have arrived in style. They are Slade Brooks, property executive, Baldwin Properties. Butler Matole, Kabu Design Architects. Brian Courtney, Private Property. And your guest judge and mentor for this challenge, Mark Riley, Arc Interior Design Studio. I'm excited already. I hope all that engine, it's like they see all the magic in our kitchen. Bring all that adrenaline up here. We've put so much effort in this kitchen. I really hope the judges notice all the notice everything. Like. My word. Yeah. Contrast control, I think what I really liked here was that they approached the kitchen design quite uniquely and quite differently. I do like the eclectic use of materials, there's this kind of antique pieces, juxtaposing that with raw elements and then contrasting that with sort of these beautiful metallic finishes. Again, I think that's very on point with design and trends at the moment. Mark, what was the inspiration of the chandelier? Actually, that's um, what the guys are calling a hanging garden. As we walked in through that entrance hall, there was that crank, that winding crank, and I looked up and saw that hanging garden, which was so unusual. I've never seen that in the kitchen before, and I was super impressed with that. I think the execution hasn't been done that well, but I think that's something that they can still work on and, and develop. If you have a look at a lot of the steel elements, they brought this in, you, you come back to further contrast of, it looks like an iodized splashback. I mean, this type of looks, they're timeless. I'm loving that oxidized metal splashback. Definitely taking that idea to head office with me. But if I do have to have one niggle on the apartment, I'd say in a compact space to have a double and a single sink, it may be a bit too much. I like how they've brought the tile from the bathroom. There's definite synergy in the space, but there's a too much contrast. I don't think they thought about the kitchen in terms of a functional space. I guess they're boys, so it's more like a bachelor's pad and practical things that one needs, more cupboard space and all of that. But I think I want to reserve more comments once I've actually seen the whole, whole space. In terms of what they showed us in the initial concepts, in terms of what they delivered, maybe there are a few areas that could have been um, worked on a lot better. We are really hoping that when the judges walk into our space, they have that open, tall, big feeling of what our kitchen is. Yeah, we're hoping that they really notice our feature plant wall, our feature lights, <laughs> our feature dining table, our feature kitchen in yeah, general, I'm really. Yeah, <laughs> Feels so open, eh? Yeah. What I enjoyed with the Permit Peeps kitchen is they had so much storage. Practically, that was wonderful, and obviously creating the volume of space using the open plan to its fullest potential. As you walk in, you get that great sense of space. You know, you don't have the island inside this kitchen, so it's feeling a lot more open. That over there, I'm happy to throw a party at. I can also sit at a table, have a good old family lunch on a Sunday, have everyone around. I really loved the whole dining space um, and the fact that there was no island. Um, for me, that was quite interesting. From my perspective, when it comes to selling the apartment, I'm going to be able to sell this as a family-friendly apartment, as somewhere where you really can kick back and relax with everyone. It's quite nice, actually, the girls made the table themselves. Wow. I know that they actually cast the concrete base to put all the planting in, so I thought that was quite a nice sort of detail that they've picked up in terms of all the planting that they got. I also really liked the, the herb garden idea and the fact that they had an integrated irrigation system. I think that was a really clever idea that they've incorporated. I really love the practicality of having herbs. As you cook, you can just pick them up here. I just love the way that they always stick through to their concept. They've carried it through from the bathrooms, now right into the kitchen. I think I have questions still 
because I think it's a unit that appeals to a certain niche market. So if you don't have green fingers, it's still a bit of a questionable area. I definitely delivered it. Good space. It's beautiful space, absolutely. Now we're going green. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> okay. That's good plan. Okay. Team RNK was quite impressive today. I think they set themselves a challenge and they stuck to the concept and they carried it right through. Nice. I really love what they've done with the space, the different mm -hmm. heights. Yeah, it's a, I mean, a great idea. I think when we first looked at the initial concepts, they didn't have any 3Ds to show us what this looked like. So I was a little bit apprehensive in terms of what are they going to do. But I think that this really celebrates the volume of the space. A great feature in that kitchen was the island. The way we could walk all the way around it was very practical. Um, but also I can totally imagine creating some sushi, using it as a tequila bar. I mean, cooking in that space with friends, having a glass of wine, I think there's a lot you can do with it. It's very versatile. I love that about the kitchen. Their kitchen was the only kitchen that really had the bar island. And I think, again, that was a really nice feature and design element that worked very well within the space. I don't know if you've noticed the upside down pot plants. Yeah, definitely upside down pot plants. Uh, these are incredible. Team RNK have done something really special with this kitchen. They have blown my mind. You know, Bowen, we're used to the innovation. We're used to, to changing up the game. Uh, we used to say bringing something new to the market, but now with Team RNK, I think they're giving me some ideas. And for them to start creating things instead of just bringing in the pieces from the shop, I think I commend them for that. I feel like Team RNK have really improved in leaps and bounds. The first thing I noticed was the hexagonal tile patterns. I thought that was spectacular. And even the way they cut some of the spare tiles and use them across that backdrop, cutting the hexagonals into those African patterns, I think is amazing. Absolutely, and I think they've definitely delivered on what they kind of promised in terms mm. of what we looked at at the initial concept. So I I'm think glad that they've actually learned that, you know, you stick to your mm. concept yeah. right through to the product. That's yeah, yeah. a good I'm lesson. Impressed. Yeah. yeah. The judges are out there judging. We just want to relax. And we just found a hidden gem in the middle of part of it. Lionel Smith Gallery. Can oh. you believe it? Sanctuary. Amazing. I'm Lionel Smith. I'm an artist based in Part of Flay in Somerset West. I do oil painting and sculpture, and then also I do printmaking. So yeah, it's very versatile stuff that I'm doing. Welcome to my space. Oh, it is lovely. This is my newly built studio. Yeah. And this is an old bell pipe, probably from about 100 years ago, that was part of the dynamite factories and the secret stuff that was going on in the area. And we found this in the foundation and then decided to keep it and use it as a feature and put glass over it so you can actually walk over it. I'm not trying anything funny. We've got a beautiful <laughs> space. We are currently curating for our lounge and uh, we're just seeking some inspiration. Uh, yeah, sure. Some Let me show you around. Bold pieces with women of color in them. <laughs> He's also left his like gallery very concrete based and like steel and there's like these sculptures. I loved it. This particular work was shown in London at the National Portrait Gallery oh, wow. and I decided to bring it back to South Africa and keep it as part of my own collection. So please tell us about your choices. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of color just in your subjects, the people you've chosen to use. Why them? Well, basically, it started off as kind of like a progressive journey for when I moved from Pretoria to Cape Town. I started using a lot of uh, Cape Malay people and a lot of that idea of mixed race and the idea of that we've all come from somewhere, but we've kind of like all connected as a universal idea of who we are. So that's where the idea of this whole identity came from, the idea of how I'm exploring that at the moment. About 10 years ago, I started sculpting again, and uh, the idea of the brush strokes and everything kind of like have a relationship in the subject matter. And I also do, you know, graphic prints, and uh, that also is the same idea. So I created an iconography where I'm using one idea and translating that into different mediums. Is this just a gallery space or? Do you like also have a studio here where you create the work? I've got a painting studio over there, okay. and I've got a sculpture studio on this side, oh, right. and a printing studio upstairs, and my offices are basically based here. So this, the idea is that this almost becomes part of a museum area for people to view work 
in part of play or in some sort of ways, you know, to create kind of like a pinnacle for art in a way. It's always so inspiring to go into another artist's space to be stimulated by what they create. And I think coming to this gallery, yeah. the lounge is going to be magic. His work is insane. My question always is, do they have the budget for the design duos? That's the big question. Budget is the question. Indeed. Put that in those apartments and I'll buy one myself. <laughs> now with the amazing Lionel Smith studio and so much more to enjoy in and around the beautiful Part of a Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, it's certainly worth a visit. In fact, the various types of units developed by Bullwind Properties are available to view seven days a week, it's, which is really awesome, from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. with an agent on site on Wednesdays, Saturdays and Sundays. They're there between 2 and 6 p.m. For more information about the development and the show days, go to bullwind.co.za. And if you attend the show day this coming Saturday, you will receive a 100 Rand voucher from Amici Restaurant situated in the estate right next door to the duo's uh, apartments. And I will say mm. that that 100 Rand will get you a delicious pizza, and they are amazing. Yeah, you're spending a lot of time there, mm. so you would know. Well, you can tell. All the kitchen <laughs> spaces are so incredible, and it's really impossible to say yeah. which team is going to take it at this stage. But what we do know for sure is that after the break, one lucky viewer who entered the grand prize competition over the past week will be called live on air to participate in the Capitec Open the Door giveaway. So keep your phone handy. It could be you. <laughs> Don't take credit. Unexpected coming from a bank. But just think about it. Using credit to finance a flashy lifestyle to show that you've arrived won't help you live better. What's new today is old tomorrow, except for the debt that you still have to pay. But do take credit to renovate your home, buy a more reliable car, or pay for your children's education. If that's your goal, then Capitec will help you realize your dreams. Because living better starts when you get credit for the right reasons.
Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. Welcome back to Winner Home, live on SABC3. My favorite time of the show has arrived. It's time for the Capitec Open the Door giveaway, where we draw one lucky name from the past week's entries. And that lucky contestant will get to choose one of the doors that are behind me. And whatever is behind it, they win. Here's what's hidden behind the doors this week. Tonight on Capitec Open the Door. You could win a Bamex Swiss Line blender with slicey attachment from Caesarstone worth 9,000 Rand, a 5,000 Rand Valence voucher, or a mere showerhead from flush bathrooms worth 3,600 Rand. Ah, such awesome prizes. And here to open the door for us tonight, we have uh, Zandre Bailey, a learning designer at Capitec. Zandre, welcome. Thank you. Are you ready to make a winner tonight? Yes, to be so. Let's make someone really happy tonight. Ah, well, let's make someone really happy tonight. And indeed, we are ready for it. And our lucky caller on the line is Jennifer uh, from Cape Town. Jennifer, good evening. Good evening. Ah, how are you feeling? I'm feeling excited. Yes, I like an excited queen. Well, listen to this. You've heard the prizes hidden behind the doors. And which door would you like us to open for you tonight? Red, white, or blue? Blue. Okay. What's behind the blue doors, Andre? <laughs> Woo! Jennifer, congratulations. You have won yourself a mere shower head from Flush Bathrooms worth 3,600 Rand. Are you into showers? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, have to ask you I have to ask you another question for you tonight. First of all, when you went to the website to vote, who did you vote for? Perma Peeps. Perma Peeps. Nice. Good stuff. Are you ready to win some more prizes with us tonight? Yes. Well, Samsung is giving you a second chance to win. If you answer one simple product-related question correctly, you will walk away with a Samsung 12-kilogram front loader washing machine worth 15,000 Rand. Does that sound good? Yes. Yeah. Right, I hope you like the, sm uh, the smell of clean linen. So listen carefully to some of these bits because I'll ask you questions about them afterwards. Uh, ad wash lets you simply and quickly add forgotten clothes after your cycle has already started. Smart control lets you remotely control and monitor your washing using the Smart Things app. And Eco Bubble technology delivers powerful cleaning even at low temperatures. Now, to win this awesome prize, answer the following question. Can you monitor the washing cycle and adjust temperature settings on your Samsung front loader washing machine via the Smart Things app? Is the answer yes or no? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure, sure, sure? Yes. You are correct. Congratulations. All right, all right, all right. You are off to a winning speeding extravaganza. And Zandre is still celebrating. Thank you so much, Zandre, for joining us tonight and doing this with us. Well, there is one more prize. If you are a capital client, then and you answer this question correctly, you instantly win 5,000 Rand cash. Jennifer, are you a capital client? Yes. Okay, here is the question. Which of the following two options are good credit choices? A, using credit to paint your house, or B, using credit to do your hair and look amazing? A. Yes, that's right. Congratulations, Jennifer. 5,000 Rand is coming into your bank account tonight. It's that simple, man. Congratulations, Jennifer. Yeah. Oh, enjoy your prizes, all right? Okay. <laughs> okay, well, if you want to be like her, enter now on privateproperty.co.za and you could be the lucky caller on Capitec. Open the door next week. But remember, entries close on Sunday, the 2nd of December. So there are not that many more chances to possibly win the grand prize. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. Enter the Winner Home competition by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning a fully decorated apartment at Pardaflay Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties worth over 3 million rand. Plus, you'll automatically be entered into the weekly draw where this coming Thursday night, you could walk away with the Samsung Gear Icon X with built-in music player, voice command, coaching, and built-in heart monitor. And if that's not enough, Capitec clients stand a chance to win a further 5,000 Rand in cash. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Win a home every Thursday evening at 7.30 on SABC3. The stage is yours.
designed yours once again, congratulations. You guys poured your heart and soul into this challenge and it shows in the end result. Your kitchens are spectacular. The judges have come to view your spaces and here's their feedback. We'll start with you, the Perma Peeps. The judges loved how spacious your kitchen felt with that L-shaped design. They also really appreciated your use of the dining room table and ample seating. However, although you had ample cupboard and counter space, they did feel as though your kitchen was slightly too large and crept a bit too much into your lounge area. Yeah, we personally don't feel that the kitchen is too big. We actually feel that most kitchens these days are too tight and it gets cramped as soon as there's more than one person working in the space. So we're sure that when the judges actually get to be using and engaging with the space that they'll very quickly see it's just right. Team r &K. The judges couldn't get enough of your wooden pergola and your hanging pendants above your kitchen island. They also loved how you brought your hexagonal tiles up onto your island and then onto your walls as well. But did you bring enough warmth into the space? I mean, <laughs> we happy. <laughs> I mean, the warmth thing is, it's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a bad thing. I mean, I can handle anything like that. It's not like there's anything they hated. They just wanted a bit of warmth bring a puppy in there. Oh, no, girl, <laughs> turn up the pods. <laughs> Cut up a song. <laughs> Team Contrast Control. The judges really enjoyed your hanging garden structure and they loved your rusted metal splashback behind your main sink. Now, although they really appreciated that you brought some vintage and modern elements into the same space, they felt that perhaps this time you brought too much contrast. Criticism of a bit too much contrast. We had the option to go for a more modern unit to keep the whole space going as modern as we were. Uh, we thought it would be quite perky and... It's like playful, you know. It's not it's everyone's cup of tea, but, but we're very happy with it. With the feedback out of the way, it's time to announce who won the Kitchen Challenge on Winner Home Season 5. Our winning duo, as voted for by the judges, is... Team R and K. Team R and K. Team R and K. We back. Ladies, congratulations! As winners of this challenge, and because we're this far in the competition, you won't be getting five thousand rand added to your budget. You'll be receiving ten thousand rand for your final challenge on Win a Home. <laughs> congratulations! Thank you. And that squares up the competition. Can you believe it? Yes. Everybody's got to win on Winner Home. Everybody does have to win at some point. Oh, my <laughs> word. Congratulations again to Jennifer from Cape Town. Mm. Tonight's Cappy Tech Open the Door caller, and she won herself a mere shower head from Flush Bathrooms worth 3,600 Rand. The Samsung 12 kilogram front loader washing machine worth 15,000 Rand. And because she's a Cappy Tech client and answered the question correctly, won an additional 5,000 Rand, bringing her total prize to the value of 23,600 Rand. Mm. I hope if the next caller that wins this kind of prize is going to give us a little bit more excitement, yeah. right? Are you excited? Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. what we want to hear. Please but if you person. want to be a winner too and are ready to scream for it, then uh, make sure you get voting uh, for your favorite duo on privateproperty.co.za. Entries for the grand prize close on Sunday, the 2nd of December. So you have just over half a month left to enter. And because you can enter once a day, make sure that you do exactly that. And remember that you'll also be entered into the weekly Capitec Open the Door giveaway, uh, where next week, Thursday, we have upped the entire situation by putting together our biggest prize pool yet yep. to give you an early start to Black Friday. Next week on Capitec Open the Door, you could win a 10,000 Rand Valence voucher, a Siemens EQ6 fully automatic coffee machine from loot.co.za worth 16,200 Rand, or a 10% Sensation Supreme Queen bed set from Venkasa valued at 50,000 Rand. Then that's not all. As you know, on Winner Home, we give away some more prizes. Mm -hmm. Samsung is giving you not one, but two sets of Gear Icon X earbuds worth 3,300 Rand each. Oh, that's exciting. Now, well, with one challenge remaining, it's anyone's game at this point in the competition, and it's getting really heated. Indeed. So you do have to tune in again next week for all the design drama and plenty of prizes. I mean, for me, it's always just like I'm always on edge because I never know. I watch yeah. everyone's challenges, and I go, they're all amazing. They really are. But at yeah. this point, 
It could be anyone. And bearing in mind, there's one more challenge still in the competition to go. And then at the end of that, the judges will have to live and judge the apartments all together. Mm. It's going to be a stressful yeah. end to win a home season five. <laughs> I'm super, super excited to see which of our duos will win. And thanks so much yeah. for the tweets that came through. Hashtag win home. I've read them all. And I love, love, love hearing what you guys have to say about the apartments. Mm -hmm. Also, keep engaging with our duos as well. You know, get their social media handles. Get them uh, those love messages yeah. coming through. Those messages of encouragement, of support. Yeah. Tell them if you like their houses or their apartments. Get involved in the Indeed. process. From us here tonight, we'll see you next week, Thursday. Good night and have a brilliant evening. Mwah. Next week on Win at Home, there's no time to lounge about for the design duos as they embark on their final room challenge with some of the most inspiring collaborations in the competition to date. Yo, Yo that's sick. Okay, that's happening. <laughs> and the return of a familiar face. Hello, Watch all the design drama unfold on Winner Home Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. on SABC3 with the repeat on Saturdays at 3 p.m. The stage is yours. Another feel-good production. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.